heard that this was started by the voters, and a lot of people may think that means I-960. But quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, it goes back further than that. It goes back to 695 when the voters said, no, we want a chance to either vote on taxes or to make sure the legislature uses a two-thirds vote to do it. But it goes back even before that, clear back to 1993. And this is really when I cut my teeth in politics in this state, was with Initiative 601. And that required a, a vote of the people for tax increases. Anytime that we're gonna go above population and inflation. But you know, it's not just about when it started, because it didn't stop at 960. It went on with 1053 and 1185. The voters have quite consistently said they want a voice when it comes to tax issues. They want this body to ask their permission to raise taxes. I think the very least that we could do is ask them if they still want that ability. Do you still want some mechanism by which you can advise us how you feel about tax votes? The very least we can do is adopt this amendment and allow the voters to decide for themselves whether they want to continue having advisory votes or not. We shouldn't be doing all the, the tax votes that we've done, but we certainly shouldn't be taking away the one thing, the one voice they have, the one ability they have to tell us how they feel about those tax increases. The legislature has taken it away too many times. The courts have taken it away too many times. Let's not do it again. Please vote no on this bill.